हेलो फ्रेंड्स लाइफ इज लाइक राइडिंग ए बाइसाइकल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप बैलेंस यू मस्ट बी मूविंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू फिजिक्स इन विच एंड इंसेक्ट इज मूविंग इन ए हेमिस्फेरिकल डिच ऑफ रेडियस आर सेंटीमीटर वेन इट क्रॉल्स अप द डिच इट इट स्टार्ट स्लिपिंग आफ्टर इट इज एट द हाइट एच फ्रॉम द बॉटम इफ द कोफिशेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द ग्राउंड एंड द इंसेक्ट इज मी यू देन फाइंड द एच इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेडियस ऑफ द हेमिस्फियर एंड द coefficient of friction so friends this type of question is used to ask in the competitive examination so i thought derive an expression general expression in which you can put the numerical value to get the desired result instantan instantly so let's derive the general relations and find the value of h so as per the question or uh, an insect is moving in a hemispherical ditch so this is a ditch and it is hemisphere so let us this is the center of the hemisphere and uh, this if we what is this this is the radius r and an insect is starting from the bottom and it move upwards it is crawling it is crawling and this is suppose this is at point p and it covers the height h from the ground and afterwards as it crawls up it slips down so you have to find the height up to what the insect is able to crawl right you are given only the coefficient of friction mu and radius r of the hemisphere so let mass of insect is mkg so this mass will acting downward in the form of gravitational force and suppose this is the radius and it makes angle theta with the vertical then after extending this this is the oops after extending this and dissolving this mg into two component horizontal and vertical so this will give mg cos theta and this will give mg sin theta so you must note that there is a friction in between the ground and the insect and that friction is providing the support to the insect in moving in crawling but when it reaches height h that frictional force is overcome <coughs> by the mg sin theta the weight of the insect acting along the surface of the hemisphere hemispherical ditch so in the static friction case these two forces will balance each other so as per the newtons third law
this mg sin theta is equal to frictional force because the friction will be in this direction and the, this friction force f will be equal to mu into normal re reaction and this reaction will be along this so this n n is equal to mg cos theta this normal reaction will be produced by the ground on the on the insect so our frictional force will be equal to mu into n is equal to mu mg cos theta so this gives tan theta is equal to mu so from this we get the expression tan theta is equal to mu now you have to find the height h so tan theta is equal to mu and uh, this if you this is the uh, center of the hemisphere or a sphere, a sphere and uh, r is the radius and the, let this is the l point so let us consider the triangle olp so triangle olp suppose we consider this triangle this is the point p this is l and this is o so this is theta so tan theta is equal to mu that is mu upon 1 so this becomes this is the normal mu and this is the base 1 so hypotenuse of this right angle triangle will be 1 plus mu square that means we can get the other expression what we need so h h is equal to whole ob minus ol our distance h is equal to ob minus ol and now if we can find the ol distance then we can get the value of h because ob is equal to r so ol is ol is what op cos theta ol is op cos theta so from this we get the cos theta value cos theta is equal to 1 upon square root 1 plus mu square so let us substitute this value of cos theta in expression h is equal to minus ol radius of the hemisphere and the ol is equal to op cos theta and that is equal to r minus r cos theta cos theta is equal to 1 upon square root 1 plus mu square so we get r is equal to r common 1 minus 1 upon square root 1 plus mu square right so this is the expression for h is equal to r 1 minus 1 upon square root 1 plus mu square so if you are asked the value of h you can calculate this expression or if in a particular case mu is equal to 0 0.75 r is equal to 1 meter then after value putting this value we can get a special case h is equal to 1 into 1 minus 1 upon square root 1 plus 0 0.75 square right so you will get 
जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव टू मीटर आफ्टर सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस सो दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन एंड इट मे बी आस्क डायरेक्टली इन टू द एग्जाम सो आई होप दैट यू अंडरस्टूड द सोल्यूशन एंड डेरिवेशन सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो लर्न Thank you thank you so much